Well, it's probably uh, earlier than, than you thought it might be. I mean, what's it like knowing that the season is over? What What's your kind of feeling on that? Yeah, for sure. I think that uh, sucks, honestly. You know, we think we had a good team, good team spirit and stuff. So yeah, it's just uh, sucks that the uh, season has ended so early. What, you know, what are kind of your, your, your general feelings and reflections on, on your game and, and your role with the team looking back to the start of the season? Yeah, I think it was a fun season. Uh, I think I was all right. I think I can do a little bit better job uh, five on five sometimes, but uh, like power play was good. Um, yeah, kept on shooting, shooting the puck and stuff. So I think I'm happy, but I think I can do better as well. I mean, this year's team, a much different place in the standings. I mean, a lot of the same guys. Um, what do you think was maybe some of the differences this year as opposed to last year when you guys had more success? I think the biggest is that we were not consistent enough. I think I think that's a really teaching uh, thing this year. And I think about next year just to stay more consistent each game. I, I think it's a lot of games, but I think that's uh, important to stay focused and like yeah, just stay consistent there. Are there positives, um, you know, as a team to take away from the way that this season went, meaning, you know, having to work a little bit harder for wins, work to clinch a playoff spot rather than last year when you guys were you know, first or second team to clinch? Yeah, exactly. And uh, like I said, I think it just like teaching things like you gain experience from that too. And I think that helps me and helps the team and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. You know, a couple years ago there when we were a top team, it was pretty easy to clinch the playoff and now we have to work for it every game. And I think that's a teaching thing as well and dance experience. Had a couple more games in the NHL this year. Um, what did you learn from, from those opportunities? What do you think you need to be able to do to, to be there on a more consistent basis? Yeah, I think that was uh, super fun to get more uh, games uh, this year. You know, that's my dream to play there uh, full time someday. So yeah, I just got to Keep working the same there to stay more consistent in the system and stuff. But uh, yeah, it, it was super fun to play some games there this year for sure. Have you gotten more and more used to LA now? Does it feel more like home after a couple of years of being here? Yeah, for sure. It really feels like home now and it's my third year here now and uh, time flies by. So yeah, it's, uh, it's super fun to be here and I am really happy fun. What's it like having all of the other Swedish guys here and all the other European guys in the organization? Because, you know, we've talked to people who've been around for a while and that wasn't always the case for the longest time. There was a lot of, you know, North American guys. So so what's that kind of like being a part of that? Yeah, for sure. I think that's really just fun. I think it makes me more comfortable that you, you can come to the rink and speak Swedish sometime too and not just think about the English. And I think that helps me a lot on the ice and stuff. So yeah, it's just super fun to have a couple more Swedish players and a couple of Finns and Slovak and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh, super fun. I know we talked about this last year a bit, but you're, I'm sure you're going to go home. Uh, how excited are you to be back home and, and you know get back into your training routine that you're used to? Yeah, I think it's going to be fun to just come home to Sweden there in Gothenburg and see family and friends and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. What are some of the things that that you typically do during the summer or you know do you have any plans for this this summer i don't have any special plans right now but uh yeah i think the most important thing is just to get home and relax a little bit to see family and friends and just like to see yeah sweden again you know you, you were here for a long time and it's really important to come back to and just like yeah, yeah chill a little bit uh eric portillo joined the team we've asked eric portillo about you but I mean, what, what was it like kind of just getting to see him and, you know, I'm sure growing up, you play on the same team, you never know when you might cross paths and to have that happen when that when that trade comes down, uh, that was probably pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it was super special, you know, like I played with Eric for five years and he, he's, he's like my best buddy. So yeah, it's uh, super special to have him here and I am really happy for that and yeah, I am just trying to help him here a little bit. Uh, like uh, show him different spots and a couple dinner places and stuff and then we're gonna see each other again in Sweden so yeah it's uh, super fun to have him here it's like a dream come true because we have spent so much time together in Sweden so yeah it's been really uh, special to have him here too. I know that on like you know Elite Prospects or Hockey DB or whatever site you can kind of look to see like who you've played with the most and most of the time it's just a number for however many years but is he the person you've actually played with more than anybody? Uh... 
if you think about years, yeah, I think so. Like we we like started in uh, Folanda there with the U16 team, and then we worked our way up to the 20 team, and then he went to yeah USA right away. But yeah, so we played together like four or five years, I think. So yeah, it's a uh, special for short time. Is that something you know you guys are in for Londa? Uh, do you have conversations like, hey, I want to play in the U.S. Like, I want to try to go over there. Is that something you guys ever talked about? Yeah, I think like you know, like it's uh, NHL here, so I think that's all hockey players' dream. And I think for Londa, like, does a really good job too to like promote the like the hockey here too in the U.S. And that's like the goal uh, there too. So yeah, it's uh, fun to be here for sure, and especially with Eric.